Hi, my name's Ben, I'm from the Gabriel Method, and I'm going to be showing you how to burn an audio CD in iTunes. I'm using a Macintosh computer, but the process is pretty much the same on a Windows machine. If you do not have iTunes, I'd recommend downloading it, as it makes this pr process much simpler. I'm just going to go open my favourite internet browser, and in the address bar, I'm going to type apple.com forward slash iTunes forward slash download and hit enter. I'll be taken directly to the iTunes download page where I can download iTunes and follow the prompts to install it. Alright, I'm just going to go and close Safari there, I don't need that anymore. Once you've opened iTunes, you'll see on the left you can click on music and it gives you your music library which shows you all of the music you have in iTunes. These two tracks are the ones I want to burn to my CD. To burn a new CD, you must first create a new playlist. I'm going to do this by clicking File, New Playlist up the top. As you can see, it's created a new untitled playlist. I'm going to call this Gabriel CD and hit Enter. I've got the playlist selected, but it's empty at the moment. To put some songs in it, I'm going to click back on my music library up the top, and I'm going to drag each of the songs that I want into the Gabriel CD playlist. Now you can see that there's two songs, two tracks, in my playlist. To burn these to a CD, down the bottom right, there's a button that says Burn Disc. Clicking on that gives you the Burn Setting dialog, most of these are straightforward. You do want to make sure that you've got audio CD selected though, so that your CD will play in CD players. Once you're happy with the settings, click burn, and it will ask you to insert a blank disc. As soon as you do so, it will start burning. You want to make sure when choosing a disc, it's CD writable. Thank you very much and happy listening.